Welcome back to art, everybody. And I'm really excited to start the unit, how we express ourselves. We are collaborating with your classroom teachers and we're exploring the central idea throughout history, people use art as a way to communicate. Art or the arts, what are the arts? So I think maybe we need to look at that initially. We need to understand that the arts encompasses drama, the written arts, poetry, writing, dance, the visual arts. Uh, it also includes architecture and design. Then what is the role of the artist or who is the artist? The artist is somebody who relays their message or communicates their art to the public. Now, we are going to narrow this down a little bit and focus on contemporary artists who have really had a voice and have made an impact with their voice. And we're going to explore what they've done and various ways in which they've done that. Then we're going to look at how we are going to start this unit off. What is going to be our provocation? What are we going to create? And how are we going to visually respond to this unit? This is an extremely powerful piece called Follow the Leaders and it is located in Berlin and was created in 2011 by the Spanish street artist Isaac Cordal. Sea levels are projected to rise up to three foot by the end of the century. This image is a stark reminder of our collective failure to act upon climate change. These are giant fish sculptures made from discarded plastic bottles in Rio. As part of the UN Conference on Sustainable Development, an enormous outdoor installation of fish was constructed using these discarded bottles. There was a collective of artists creating them. Banksy is a provocative artist who makes political statements about the world around us. What do you think is his message here? Royang created The Cry of the Dead Well in 2019 in the Philippines. It is made out of garbage, including plastic bottles, straws and bags found strewn on the shoreline. Barbara Kruger is a feminist artist who places texts on billboards, making commentary about our modern day value system and how we define ourselves by what we earn or what we own. Shepard Ferry is a contemporary American street artist who is an activist. His style is bold and iconic. The Hope poster was created in support of the candidacy of Barack Obama in 2008 for President of the United States. Keith Haring was an 80s artist who devised his own visual language which could be easily read and interpreted. He was all about love and acceptance. So now it is up to you to think about what message today you would like to relate, what you'd like to share and how you'd like to share it. Are you using visual language to make your point? Are you using the written word? This is a provocation. This is a start of this unit. And I hope that we take this further and we investigate creating a larger scale artwork, which has something to say. <laughs>